Threat and vulnerability management provides near real-time insight that can help you quickly discover potentially impactful threats, vulnerabilities, and security misconfigurations in your environment. This video explores how to use this capability to discover and act on this information to improve your security posture and reduce risk. I'll start in the Threat and Vulnerability Management dashboard. It displays some critical information, including the Exposure Score, Secure Score, and Exposure Distribution. Exposure Score reflects the overall exposure of your machines. Lower scores are better here. Exposure Distribution shows the amount of machines with low, medium, and high exposure scores, and you can select any part of the pie chart to see a list of machines with that score. Vulnerability Management groups Secure Score by categories, like application or security controls. The higher the score, the more your machines are protected against cyber threats. Straightforward. You can discover recommendations to improve the score for a particular category by selecting it. Below the scores are the top three most vulnerable software titles and top three most exposed machines. Select Show More to see full lists of vulnerable software and machines. The primary way to improve the organization's secure score is by acting on recommendations. That's coming up next. On the Threat and Vulnerability Management dashboard, you see the top security recommendations based on their impact to the exposure and secure scores. This is where I'm going to start discovery. You've probably already noticed the little icons beside each recommendation. There are three of them. The first is a bullseye, or target that represents breach insights. This indicates a recommendation that's related to an active alert in your organization that was generated by the EDR component. The second is a bug icon, representing threat insights. It's an indication that one or more vulnerabilities tied to this recommendation has an external threat associated with it. The last is the light bulb icon, which represents recommendation insights. When available, these give you insights about the provided recommendations. For now, I'll select the top recommendation to see more information about it. That includes a description, vulnerability details, plus individual vulnerabilities that are addressed by following this recommendation, and the impacted machines. Select Remediation Options to request a remediation for this recommendation. You have the option to open a ticket directly in Microsoft Endpoint Manager or ServiceNow, making it easy to communicate with the IT team to get this configuration change applied. If I want to create an exception for this recommendation, maybe I need more time to consider it, I can select Exception Options. It prompts me for justification, context information, and how much time I need for the exception. Selecting Open Software Page takes me to the full software details, including quite a bit of additional information. You can see all the related recommendations, discovered vulnerabilities, the machines which have it installed, and the version distribution in your environment. Coming up, I'll demonstrate how to keep track of your remediations and exceptions. How do you keep track of all your remediation actions and exceptions? Threat and Vulnerability Management has a solution for that. Open Remediation in Threat and Vulnerability Management. Through integration with Endpoint Manager and ServiceNow, the Remediation Activities tab provides continuous updates on the progress of each remediation activity. And once all systems have been updated, it automatically marks the activity as completed. The Exceptions tab provides a list of exceptions. In either case, select an item to view more information about it in the side pane. In the next segment, I'll show how to examine weaknesses in your environment. The Weaknesses page provides a list of all known vulnerabilities. There are thousands of them, but filtering the list helps to prioritize it for the task at hand. In this case, I'm interested in critical, recent vulnerabilities that specifically affect my organization. Select a vulnerability to see its details, including a description, its severity, and the related software. At the bottom of the Vulnerabilities Details side pane, you see a list of the machines exposed to this vulnerability, and you can quickly pivot from the vulnerability to an exposed machine for more information about it. On the Machine Details page, notice that there are some familiar tabs. We'll look at those next. Machine Detail pages provide vulnerability-related information specific to the selected machine. This is especially helpful during investigations or when improving the security posture of high-value machines. First, the Security Recommendations tab offers an all-up view of the security recommendations for the machine. 
Second, the Discovered Vulnerabilities tab shows any unmitigated CVEs. And last, the Missing KBs tab shows updates missing from it. Remediating these issues will improve the security posture of the machine, reducing its exposure, and contributing to a higher overall secure score. Threat and Vulnerability Management offers near real-time insights that help you to quickly discover potentially impactful threats, vulnerabilities, and security misconfigurations in your environment. And integration with Endpoint Manager and ServiceNow helps to make their remediation simpler. For more information, see the TVM documentation on Microsoft Docs.